And happy Friday and welcome to News On. I'm Miranda Khan. As always, thank you for joining us. And we begin today with breaking news. About an hour ago, the president gave his live speech following the November's jobs report. Biden says this year has been an extraordinary amount of progress. He proceeds to say that our economy is stronger than it was a year ago and that our unemployment rate has fallen to 4.2 percent. Now for today's news. Every year, December brings the joys of the holiday season and gives us an opportunity to reflect on the year gone by and look ahead and begin to imagine the new year to come. This year, we can reflect on an extraordinary bit of progress. Our economy is markedly stronger than it was a year ago. And today, the incredible news that our unemployment rate has fallen to 4.2 percent. At this point in the year, we're looking at the sharpest one-year decline in unemployment ever. Simply put, America, America is back to work and our jobs recovery is going very strong. Today's historic drop in unemployment rate includes dramatic improvements for workers who have often seen higher wages and higher levels of unemployment. Excuse me, higher levels of unemployment. They are receiving higher wages. And the rate of black and Hispanic unemployment is also dropping sharply. But that's not just jobs that are up. Wages are up, especially for hardworking Americans, often ignored in the past and past recoveries. Workers in transportation and warehouses have seen their wages go up approximately 10 percent this year. Workers in hotels and restaurants have seen their wages go up 13 percent this year. And thanks to the American Rescue Plan, we've delivered significant tax cuts to families raising children. Tax cuts and raising wages for middle class families mean that Americans on average have more in their pockets today than they did each, each month since we've been in office than they did last year after accounting for inflation. So the president saying their extraordinary progress, but speaking of your money, inflation continuing to push up the price of consumer goods. Shoppers from higher income levels are starting to abandon the regular grocery stores in favor of a new favorite, and that is the dollar store. Joining us live now to weigh in on what the president had to say is CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. So there, you just heard the president. Extraordinary progress. Unemployment is down. However, the November jobs report painting a much different picture. What is your take on what the president had to say? And specifically, what is your reaction to the November jobs report, which to my understanding is half of what economists predicted? It's actually pretty dismal. And the problem is that was before even this new COVID variant now has come out in the last week. So. The, the fact is that the number could be worse a month from now. And again, we're going into the end of the year, the holiday season. People need to really get back to work. And I think part of the problem with this administration is we've seen so much government stimulus that people actually have become less motivated to work. So even though there's plenty of jobs available, in fact, people are having business owners are struggling to find people to fill the positions. And they're limiting hours now because they don't have people to fill the positions. I think it's a problem because when people are on stimulus and they're not working, they just become less and less motivated. And personally, as a business owner, if I was interviewing somebody for a job and they have not had a job for two years or three years, and remember, we're going into two years, two years now with COVID into 2022, I'd say, why have you been out of work for the last two years? And what's people's explanation going to be? People are not forward thinking about this. And I'm talking about people that are choosing not to work. They're not thinking about their future. They're not going to be able to stay in government stimulus for the rest of their life. Eventually, they're going to have to get another job again. And as a business owner, when you're looking to hire people, you want to see people that are get up and go people, people that are motivated. Right. We don't have enough people working. There's plenty of jobs out there. Market right now, as we're speaking this second at noon, is tanking absolutely tanking. The market does not like this news. The market is worried about COVID. Between now and four o'clock when the market closes, going into the weekend, one week since this happened, which was Black Friday when they announced it, and now the first cases in the U.S. this week, this market could look super ugly by four o'clock today. And none of this is good for the economy. None of this is good for people that have money in retirement accounts. And across the board, even as a consumer, I don't like the fact that I go into a store and there's nobody there to help me. They have one checkout line, you know, and then you're waiting in line forever. People have got to get back to work. People have to get back to feeling good about themselves 
making money, doing all the things, you know, that we do as Americans and that we're good at. Yeah, we're running tight on time, but I do want to mention this November jobs report. So the U.S. adding 210,000 jobs in November. That is 340,000 below expectations. As I mentioned, the dollar store, that's normally a store that's aimed at lower income, but now middle class individuals are going there. There's a new poll coming out, and this was before the latest COVID variant, saying that basically almost 50 percent of Americans are saying that it's been financially hard for them over the past few months. Last 30 seconds to you on this topic, Melissa. Actually, the dollar store is now the dollar twenty-five store. They've raised their prices to a buck twenty-five. That's true. You're right. So it's it's not even the dollar store anymore, even though it's a cute name. But I will say this: people are going to continue to spend money on food and gas. You're not going to stop driving, but you may not get plus. You may get regular gas. You may not get brand name foods that you like. You may get a lower price cost item. People are people are going to see the hit from this. If they can continue to buy things they want, they will. But I've seen prices go up at least 50 percent in some food items. It is nowhere near what the levels yeah. are that the administration is saying. They're saying it's a small percentage of inflation. It's actually much, much larger in certain things. Well, we're going to continue to monitor that. Obviously, not the best news that we wanted to hear on this Friday, but we do appreciate your time, Melissa, as always. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Still ahead on this edition of News On, the Biden administration does a major reversal when it comes to immigration in Mexico. Details coming up next.